Hey gamers, Rick here with Game Trade Media, still at Gamma, the trade show, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got Sean here <laughs> from Mr. B Games to talk to us about some cool stuff you've got coming out. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Sean. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. So uh, first, tell us a little bit about Mr. B Games. What's that all about? Uh, so Mr. B Games is a small publishing company. I started back in 2005, okay. believe it or not, and then uh, kind of put on hi hiatus for a few years. And then I started uh, back making games full time in 2012. Nice. And been going ever since. So just killing it. Yeah. Well, trying. Right. <laughs> so what have you brought us today? Uh, so this is going to be our next uh, next Kickstarter project. Actually, okay. this is uh, called Vintage Racers, and this is a throwback to those old school um, racing games I grew up with. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like uh, Detroit Cleveland or Speed Circuit or Formula Day, those kinds of mm -hmm. things. I was always a huge fan of those, and uh, you know they. Those are the kind of games that take two and a half, three hours to play kind right. of thing. And they have all this. Account. And I always thought to myself, I wish I could just do this in like 15 minutes, have all the thrill of a race game. So that's what this is. And you've done it. And we've done it, hopefully. Okay. And it's So I see that it literally comes in like a, a card box. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's going to be the packaging. And that's it. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah. And it'll be mostly tokens, but mm -hmm. you know, if we... If it does really well, I'll upgrade to wood and stuff like that. That's kind of the All goal right. or the hope. Okay. But uh, the game's really simple, so we've got it set up basically for a quick... This is a one-lap race. Uh, okay. We've got it set up for two players. Well, let's do it. All right, cool. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, since I've played before, uh, we're going to draft car parts okay. to try to build our little car. And, right. and the back on backstory on this is this is the dawn of racing. So this is like 1905, 1906, 1907. Okay. So these are cobbled together jalopies. Nice. You know, that are just falling apart. We're begging, borrowing, stealing to get the parts to go out okay. and race. So um, in the middle, these are all the different bodies that mm -hmm. you can have for the car. And they're going to have three different statistics. So they're going to have the top speed. That's as fast as they could go, which okay. back in that time frame, 90 miles an hour was insane. Yeah, it sounds insane right? to me now because <laughs> I, I don't drive that fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that guy. But that's the maximum. So these yeah. things are gotta, you know, get going real slow before sure. they get moving. Uh, that's its braking ability. So you mm. got to sometimes ha hit the brakes before you go through a corner. Uh, that'll only allow you to brake 10 miles an hour off your top speed. Uh, and then the little the little cable, which looks weird. Most of us would expect a gas pedal, mm. but those cars, they used a hand lever for the throttles. Nice. So Like so a lawnmower. Exactly. <laughs> so we've got the, and that's how fast you can accelerate. Okay. Uh, this is the, the front of your car, and this gives you some kind of a special ability. Uh, in this case, if you draft this guy, it gets you an extra 20 on braking, which would go really good with that car who has really crappy brakes. Right. So you can kind of kind of mend and alter. And then the, no, the, the tail here, uh, they got a little flag and a mm. starting. Um, historically, these guys, they waited till the very last second to crank up and go. Mm -hmm. And so some of them jumped out really, really fast and others stalled out. Okay. So to signify that in the game, this is the starting speed that you'll go on your first turn. Oh, so wow. like this one's not very good at a 20, a 40 and a 50. Okay. So I might come in, in here and say something like, I like this piece. Of course. And I put it down because I can go 100 miles an hour. Ridiculous. So then in a two player game, the, the tip I always give someone is, you can only draft one of each body part. Mm -hmm. So since I drafted a body, don't draft a body part. Wait until your very last one, because you're guaranteed to get one of those, one of those two. two. Sure. Right. So so look at here and decide: mm -hmm. do you want to go really fast, or do you want to get a, the best modifier? Sure. And now you get the option of grabbing any car part. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take, take the extra ex acceleration. Mm -hmm. Very very good. And so heeding my own advice to you, no sense in me taking one of right. those two. I should look at these. So I'm going to grab the best top speed. All right. And then we come back through, and of course, then at this point, based on what I have, some terrible braking, I'll take that. And I actually, I enjoy this. There you go. And then you get to grab the, the pieces that you drafted. All right. And the cool part there is you get to put them like head to toe here. And build your car. And you get to build a little car. All right. And then now you're ready to go race that car. Well, so I, I can already tell that based <laughs> on my car, you are in trouble. This right? car just looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, I am in trouble, basically, mm. at the end of the day. Um, you know, because that's the way that's going to roll. So <laughs> you're going to take one cube, okay. you're going to look at your start speed, and that's where you're going to put it on your score track or your start track there. Okay. That's how fast we're going to go on turn one. Then we're going to come up here to the front line, and we're going to line up on the right, on the, the track. The front line is this right yep, here? that's a okay. little start-finish line. So the inside of the track always breaks ties. So that's the one kind of cool advantage the thing's got going for it. Okay. And... Uh, the fastest speed gets to go closest to that. So wow. I have a 50 to your 40, nice. so we're neck and neck, mm. and away we're going to go. Now, these things here, these represent, like, your driver's natural raw ability. Okay. So 
you have all the limitation of your car, except for maybe you go, man, I really need to hammer on the gas this turn, but my car will not allow me to accelerate. You can throw one of these in. Mm -hmm. It's out for the rest of the game, mm -hmm. but you get to break the rule by 10 miles an hour. Okay. And you can do that for anything. You can over brake, you can uh, over accelerate, you can push your top speed, okay. anything. Um, and then the other thing is there's posted speed limits in all the corners. Mm -hmm. For me to safely navigate the corner, I have to be at that speed or less. Okay. For every 10 miles an hour I'm over, I have to take one of these damages and put it on any white spot that I have on my tires. Ooh. So if you look, I didn't get very good tires. Mm -hmm. I've only got three spots to take damage and okay. you've, you've got four. Four, yeah. So you can, uh, you can speed a little bit more than yeah. me. Um, historically, these guys used to run two per side and one guy would have a water bucket and just basically pour water on those tires cool after down. laps to cool, keep them cool from shredding off. Nice. So I wanted to simulate that in the game that, hey, these things are shredding and you're really just falling apart. Right. So that's kind of where the backstory goes on that. One. Okay. So on the very first turn, we look at this thing. We know what our speeds are. Mm -hmm. And you get to move one space for every 10 miles an hour. So I'm going, I'm going 50, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I hang out there in that little spot. Okay. It's a 60 mile an hour. I'm going 50. Totally safe. And All then right. you get to do the same thing. Okay. So you get to go 40 miles an hour. All right. One, two, three, four. Yep. And you can make any lane change you'd like. So you can go diagonal or, okay. or vertical. All right. Um, in the advanced game, there's drafting. So mm -hmm. sometimes pulling behind a car, it'll give you extra, you know, extra space sure. and extra movement. Otherwise, that's that. So then in between rounds, we just do one of these hidden things. Right, and then I'm you totally change your speed. That. I'm totally. Absolutely. And, and now you our can speed can only go up by your accelerator. By your accelerator. Correct. Okay. Unless you want to spend a cube. And you can push it 10 higher than your accelerator. Sure. Ooh. But you also have to observe you're in a yep. speed limit corner. So mm -hmm. you're not going to pay for the space you're in. You're going to pay for any space you enter. So right now we're not paying anything. But if I mm -hmm. go, say, 70 miles an hour there, I'm going to be paying a penalty. Sure. And I, I'm done. Boom. Okay. Me too. So I'm going 70. And I'm going uh, 50. And you're going 50. Yeah. Okay. So first along the track gets to go first if mm -hmm. there's a tie. Highest speed gets to go first. Okay. There's still a tie. Closest to the inside gets to go. All right. So at 70 miles an hour, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And because I was going 70 and a 60, I take some damage to one of my tires. As you deserve. Because I'm a jerk. Well, you just <laughs> don't know how to take care of your car. It's true. Yeah, it's the worst. There's no award for having so a pretty car at the end of so the day. So 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. All right. And I feel like I'm creeping up. Creeping. Yeah. And then same thing. So it's another turn. And uh, I got to look here. And okay, I'm, I'm good. I like, my, I like my speed. All right, so I'm going to, I'm accelerating. I'm creeping up faster. I'm going 70. Oh, dang it. So I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take another damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taking no damage. Taking no damage. Just holding it all for the end, right. huh? Mm -hmm. I, like, I like your style. All right, so uh, we got another we're speed here. Yeah, we're doing right. another speed here. All right. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go to 80. And I'm dropping down to 50. As yes, you should, because I see you hitting that wall. It could, it could get mm -hmm. ugly. Yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right. Not paying no penalties. And I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Closing so that I, gap. So I am paying a penalty. So you're going to pay two. Two. And you could take them as tires or you could spend your skill. Uh, uh, another thing you could do is you could spend a cube to slow down, hit the brakes, and stop on the outside. Mm -hmm. save, yourself a, save yourself a point of damage. And how do I do that? Just uh, yeah, you just say this. Throw the cube in there and say, hey, I want to pump the brakes. I'm going to pump the brakes. And then you, instead of going uh, eight mm -hmm. squares, you go seven squares. Yeah. I'll do that. Save yourself a, a point for, sure. for a rainy day, right? Right, because I'm winning. <laughs> they don't, you don't see it yet. I, you're right. I, I'm not seeing yeah. it, but, you know, we, we, it, we're getting there. So then we go up here to our, uh, our next go, right? Yeah. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Keep the pressure on you. Keep you honest. Right. And I can only decelerate by one. Right. Um, what's oh. your what's your brakes? Oh, three. three. Yeah, so okay, I'm yeah. good. So All right, go down, so three down to sixty. Yeah. All right. And I'm going sixty as well. So I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to take another one of these tires. And that's my last tire. Ooh. So I can no longer take tire points. Right. Uh, I can only use these things mm -hmm. anytime. So if 
if I'm going over on miles, I can use that cube as well, just like okay. a tire. But I, sense. all my freebies are gone, basically. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I'm way behind. I'm gonna have to do something here. Yeah, slam on the uh, on yeah. the old accelerator mm -hmm. here. All right. All right. And it goes really fast with two. Obviously, I mean we're already halfway around the lap, and I don't even think we're five minutes in. So this is great. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to accelerate. Okay, I uh, accelerated to 70. All right. So I'm going to spend a cube here to go through this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. And I am going 80, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then right. Two. Uh, you take two tire. Two tire. Yep. Yeah. And you got one more tire, or two, two more, more tires. tires left. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm good. <laughs> All right, and we got one more here, so. Ooh, that's the worst. All right, we're good. All cool. Right. All right, I'm going 60. I'm going 80 still. Whew, you're a fat. You're a madman. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jumping up on that top there. All right. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So instead of there, I'm going to hit the brakes again. Yep. Let's throw one of those out, right? Yeah. And, and do don't pay a four penalty. Right. <laughs> and go, <laughs> uh, on those I was really thinking I was going to just crash into you. Sure. Because that was, that was my goal. I figured if I could just, you know, because Robin is racing. It, it is racing. Right. And you should do that from time to time. Oh, I almost screwed myself there. That would have been bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going 80. I'm going 50. Okay, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh. So that's two from this corner mm -hmm. and one from this corner. Ooh. And I'm going 50, and I can do this, right? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Yeah. Then we're going into that final corner. And I'm staying at 80. I bet you are. I'm going to spend my one penalty here and go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in the short track race, mm -hmm. it's farthest past the finish line, but I actually entered another corner, and I don't have anything to pay for it. I miscalculated, so, so I'm actually going to spin out. Nice, but you still won. I did Well, if you cross the finish line, oh, I'm not then I to. didn't win. So if one, you can get past two, the finish three, line, you'll get Five, six, seven. That's all you got to do. Cool. And you'll beat me because I crashed. Because it's a photo finish when you go nice. across the line. So it's farthest past. But the rule is you have to be able to pay your penalties. Ah. So I miscalculated. I thought, oh, I got it in the bag. And I got all excited and just right. blew it in the last second. So cool. even though I got, had you on the lead most of the time, make a bad calculation. Because what I wanted in this game was quick turns, quick, quick thinking, mm -hmm. fast action. Because that's how mistakes happen. Right. So cool. there you go. That's, that's literally we paid a one lap race. And it's an entire game of vintage race. Nice. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> And I won. <laughs> That's true. So when is this going to be hitting Kickstarter? Uh, probably here at the end of this month. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And uh, yes, if, if anybody watching wants to go ahead and jump on board with this, where, where are they going to go to get some announcements? And uh, just MrBGames.com. Just there? Well, I mean. Yeah, Facebook too, you right? Facebook, right? BGG, right? All, all the... All yeah, the all course. the classic <laughs> usual suspects, right? Perfect. Now you also had a, you brought something else with you. I right? did. Yeah. I did. Let's take a peek at that. You bet. So this uh, the second game we're doing. I'm this is a collaboration I'm working on with um, L4 Studios. Okay. Um, so Keith Bloom, good friend of mine, and um, this is a it's kind of a throwback to the old school worker placement games. Okay. And um, really digging it. Um, it's come together. You know, it's really kind of coming to it its own. It's um, it's called Thera, and it's based on the island of Santorini. There's a city called Thera there. Okay. And historically what happened was there's a big giant volcano that erupted and covered the city in ash. So the concept of the game is you have, to, you have a player board that represents the island, and you're going around trying to remove the ash so that you can rebuild it with all the new buildings and whatnot. Wow. Really okay. cool concept. Um, this, uh, I run a game convention in Denver mm -hmm. every year, and... Um, this was a runner-up for our game design contest. Nice. And we, we just put it on every year locally. Um, Who was the winner? Uh, so the winner, ironically, um, we were going to do their project, but um, I went to BGG Con and I saw Zev, and I was showing it to him because uh, the guy who won it was there, and 
he fell in love with it and they're publishing it under oh. the WizKids brand. So Perfect. like all, right. all we really wanted was to make sure that wh whoever our winner was got some kind of a deal. It didn't sure. have to be with me. Sure. It just had to be a deal. And so, okay. so far every year our winners have gotten published. Nice. Which, and some of our runner ups have just really good looking games. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm at with these things and okay. what I wanted to do with them. So, nice. um, so this one, I just have a couple of example pieces sure. to kind of give you a feel and flavor for the game. Um, so what's cool about it is you have these two different tableaus. So these are different buildings. And depending on the number of players you play with, mm -hmm. um, you would draw number of players times like six or seven of these buildings. So there'd okay. be a whole slew of buildings that you could purchase. Okay. Almost like a throwback to Puerto Rico. Okay. And then these would be like all of your power buildings that you can buy every turn. Mm -hmm. And so what you're trying to do is you buy a building and you kind of throw it on your map here and cover it. And when you, when you cover it, you get to flip it over to the completed side, which okay. is the nice color picture. Right. And here I've built a fountain. Now this would be a bad place to build a fountain. Sure. I should build it here because what the fountain does is it helps supply water to all four adjacent quadrants. So if I put it here, it's only supplying water to, to three. Well, two, because I can't right. supply right. the dock with right. water. So you always want to make sure, you know, sure. optimal spots. There's two mm -hmm. or three really good spots for a fountain. Nice. Um, and then the quarry, the cool thing about a quarry is whenever you put water in the quarry, you produce rocks. Nice. And then you can use the rocks to build all build. the different buildings. And so then you have the grove and the grove builds up. And every time you put water in the grove, you can produce lumber. Makes and then sense. you can use the lumber to buy more buildings. Cool. And so there's three main commodities, water, basically runs everything mm -hmm. and then there's more you put water in the pastures you produce sheep. nice put more water in the pastures you can produce more sheep i can dig and what's yeah. the, what's this ear board doing so this is on the player's turn this is a really cool um mechanic so this is a rondel that uses almost like mancala have you ever played mancala the little stone game yeah where you're moving them all around the trace so that's what you do here so on your turn you say hey um i want to do the planner action Okay. Right? So this is the role I select. And what it first tells me is I can move four goods around on my map. So for me to build something, I go, hey, I really want to build this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Right? I have to first purchase the plan. And then when it's time for it, me to build it, I need four sheep and a stone. So I throw it out on my map, but I have to take the goods that I've gathered everywhere and put them here. Okay. So planner allows me to move them all along oh, through nice. my city and put them to where I need. Okay. So that when somebody does build, Mm -hmm. If you have all the goods that are there, you can build even when it's not your turn. Oh, wow. Right? So it's, it's planning ahead and, and maximizing your engine. Right. Um, so I do this move. It allows me to move. That's what the top is. The bottom then says, depending on the number of these things that are here, you as the first player get this bonus. So in this case, I have four of these um, of the stacked times. Mm -hmm. So I can look down the line and I can go, well, I can do this one. I can't do this one, but I could do this one. So this one gives me a victory point. And this one allows me to move one additional good. Cool. Cool part that I like about this is once I'm done with this, I take these pieces and I redistribute them like this in a man call kind of way. Nice. So now when it's your turn, mm -hmm. you, you take a roll selection, but clearly you can't take Boulder because there's nothing there to take and move. Right. And because I just dumped the stack, you know, you, you hurt the next guy. So when right. you do Boulder, you can't take the awesome power. Right. And then the next guy goes, oh, I'm going to take Trader because now it's built up. And what happens is it starts to circulate. As okay. the game moves on, there's certain cards that will start triggering and it'll say, hey, throw in some more time. And as time starts to go off on the island, as, mm -hmm. the, as the, the age starts to move, then all of a sudden you start getting more discs here. Mm -hmm. And then every time you pick up the discs, right, you do one of these things. You do a pickup and then, then a drop. So sometimes they start stacking up and then that becomes a super juicy target. You're right. like, I don't want to plan, but you go, oh man, right. but look at all the extra bonuses right. I get to do it. That's cool. So um, that's how those two work. The worker is how you actually produce things. So you go over, you do work, and then all of your different buildings that produce, produce, produce. whenever you do it, but only for you. Right. Right. So that okay. is usually a hotly contested area. And then the priest is pretty cool um, because whenever somebody does a priest action, the priest makes it rain. Oh, of course they do. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what priests do, right? right? They make yeah, it rain. They make it rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when that happens, then that's where everybody, um, all your fountains produce water, things like that. Okay, and cool. that's how you get water. And because water is basically the principle of everything on this game, it's super important. And so, how many players is this game? Uh, it it's 
best with three to three to five, mm-hmm. but we are playing around with a six player for it. Okay, yep. cool. And it is going to be available when, or how are you, how are you um, going to be launching this? We'll probably do it on Kickstarter. And we'll probably do it in the summer. Okay, like like June, July, sure. something like that, maybe nice. August. Very cool. Very cool. So again, make sure you go to mrbgames.com and check out all the cool updates and news yeah. so you don't miss out on, what, what was the first one called again? Vintage Racers. Vintage Racers. <laughs> Man, I'm just not connected to the old terminologies. Right. Like Muse. Or what was that one you talked about? Mule. Yeah. Mule. Mule. Who, know, who knows what that is? The greatest video game of all time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play it next trade show. I'm yes, bringing it in my backpack. And We're going to have to. Or we can play it. Origins. You're going to be at Origins? Yeah. We're going to find time. We'll make it at Origins. Yeah. <laughs> a mule game. He's in. Everybody's in. Everybody's in. <laughs> Johnny's back there shaking his head. I'm not in. Right. I'm not doing this thing. Very cool. <laughs> It'll be easy. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. It's awesome, always man. a pleasure. Good to see you. And everybody out there watching, make sure you check out MrBGames.com and make sure you sh- following all the Game Trade Media news coming out from Gamma and all the other cool stuff we've got going on. And then when you're not watching us, go to your local game store because I'm Rick and I'll see you there.